Hi there, Floss Tube. This is Heidi. Good to see you again. It is July 5th, 2023. Welcome aboard. If you've been here before, thanks for coming back. If you're new here, you um, this is my Floss Tube, my channel about cross stitch and all the other weird things I get into. Um, so you've been warned. <laughs> Welcome aboard. Um, yesterday we uh, celebrated the 4th of July with uh, some the neighbors. <laughs> they had a really nice uh, get together up the hill. It was it was a lot of fun and the weather held out. We thought we were going to have some storms, but we got lucky. So I hope you all had a good Independence Day. Those of you that are here in the USA, everywhere else, hey, it was a happy Tuesday, right? And uh, it's hump day. So let's see what we got. It's been a while. Um, I want to thank everybody for all the really wonderful, kind words about Will Ferrell and my dad from the last video. I really appreciate it. It was very kind of you. Um, much less dramatic past few weeks. So, yay! <laughs> no, no Debbie Downer today. Uh, all about that. Um, I'm sure you are too. So, I hope you're enjoying your summer so far. <clears throat> um, let me see a little life update. Pretty much all I've been doing is work or uh, we're planning a road trip up to Duluth, Minnesota to see uh, Zach, which is uh, Rusty's uh, oldest boy. Well, only boy, but he's the oldest. <laughs> he's, he's up there doing his internship for college and he's loving it. So that's good news. So we figured it was a good idea to just go ahead and hey, let's just road trip. Get out of town for a week, do something different. Uh, deliver him some snacks, you know, the poor college starving student, starving college student. Yeah, English. It's never been my strong point. Um, anyways, so that's what we're going to do. And it's been kind of fun because Rusty's all about, I don't want to plan anything. If we see something, we're just going to stop. And, you know, we're just going to get a hotel room wherever. And it'll be fun. And I'm like, what could go wrong? Because I'm the complete opposite of that. I like to plan everything to the minute, or at least general part of the day. In the morning, we're going to do this. In the afternoon, we should be here by now. That type of thing. So, <clears throat> we've kind of met in the middle, <laughs> I hope. Um, we'll see what happens. We're, we've thrown in some new things I've never done, and um, he's not been out to the Midwest much at all. I have in the past. My uncle lived in Minnesota for uh, several years, so we took two trips over there um, when I was younger. One super young, uh, like five years old, and uh, we went up through the UP of Michigan and cut across that way. <laughs> and the most memorable part of that trip, here's a sister story for you, um, that I, I proudly get to throw at her whenever I need to. Um, we're driving across the Mackinac Bridge, is that correct? Please, Michiganders, you can correct me. Um, big giant bridge that connects the bottom part and the upper part of Michigan. And you know, it's, I'm five years old. This is the first time we've seen these big old boats, right? So mom's like, look, kids, look at the boats. And I'm looking over and my sister's like, oh, look over there. And she boom, slaps me in the face and my two front teeth pop out. <laughs> I'm sure it was a bloodbath in the back of, back of the car. Ah, fun time was had by all. So anyways, that's my, um, my sister beat me up and <laughs> punched my teeth out story. Um, so we're hoping for a much less eventful trip to Minnesota this time. Oh, we're actually not going to go through the UP. We're going to take, uh, the ferry across Lake Michigan. I'm looking forward to that. You know, I've, I've been on a ferry several times, but never, uh, this big of a boat, you know, so it's kind of, it'll be kind of cool. Something different. Cut some of the driving time off, which is always... Uh, a blessing because I think if we drove it straight through Google tells us it's like a 17 hour drive yeah we're not doing that <laughs> that's, that's crazy um, so the good thing is as we stop and start we're gonna stop and see my mom um, on the way up and on the way back just a, a nice little stopping place to save us uh, hotel money and um, you know home food what's not to love and see if she needs anything she's doing fine um, Anyways, so I thought, well, hey, how about, since he doesn't have any plans, I'm going to plan something. And I am going to hit um, a bunch of cross-stitch stores. So between basically here in Virginia, all the way, and we're kind of doing a loop back and around. 
and um, at least it's new stores to me. All of them are, yeah, all of them are new stores to me. So um, not hitting one in every state. Um, otherwise, I'd probably need a divorce lawyer. So far, he at least sounds excited when I say, hey, babe, I found another cross stitch store we could stop at. We'll see. Um, after about the fourth or fifth one, he might not be as enthusiastic, but we'll see. So here's a list so far. By all means, if you've been there, give me a give me an idea. I mean, I've looked them all up online. They all look good. It's a cross stitch store. What's not to love? Um, I'm gonna find something. <laughs> um, so, or if you know any others in our general vicinity, I mean, by all means, let me know about them. I'll look them up if I haven't already, and um, we'll go from there. So, <laughs> um. um First one up is one I've been meaning to hit because it's fairly close to mom's house. And it is, I have them all written down here, so bear with me. It's H.R. Wolf Hardware in Galleon, Ohio. So obviously it's a hardware store, but I, obviously she has um, uh, bribed, I don't know, got her husband to cough up part of the store. <laughs> and it's all cross-stitch stuff. I think it's been there, I've heard about it for at least a couple years now. And she says, you know, she's she's slowly expanding it and whatnot. So um, hopefully <laughs> we will uh, find it and enjoy it. <laughs> I'm looking really, really, I'm sorry, I'm getting distracted. The poor dog's on the porch coughing. His, his cough has gotten so much worse. I don't think poor bear dog's going to be with us much longer. I think it's his heart. I guess there's my drama. But anyways, so if you hear something really odd in the background, that's bear. He'll probably come in here. But anyways, um, so HR Wolf Hardware in Galleon, Ohio, looking forward to stopping there. She says they're still expanding. The pictures already look awesome. Looking forward to seeing that one. So that's Ohio. Um, sadly, Michigan, there's a bunch of stores and kind of in the, you know, the direction we're headed. But it's going to be Sunday when we go through there. So, you know, everything's closed on Sunday. So Michigan, maybe next time. Who knows? I'll have to plan. Um plan appropriately uh so then again like i said we're taking the ferry over to wisconsin and like wherever we get off at there i can't remember the name but it's like 45 minutes to green bay so in green bay there is the stitching bee so we're going to stop there um and then go up to duluth see Zach, spend the night and then we're going to head south so next up is going to be Stitchville, USA. I've gotten all kinds of comments on this one in Minnetonka. And then Welcome Stitchery in Blue Earth, Minnesota. A bunch of comments on that one, too. And I believe they do a YouTube as well, if I'm correct. Um, you know, you, you watch so many, they all sometimes they all kind of run together. I'm sure as soon as I see faces, I'll recognize them. <laughs> um, so that's going to be two in the same day. And, and from here on out, it's like two every day. It's kind of, it's kind of amazing. <laughs> Poor Rusty. Anyways, uh, and that night, I'm pretty excited. We're going to, I've already rented, um, or reserved, whatever, an Airbnb at Furball Farm. Uh, it's the Feral Cat Sanctuary in, is it Fairbolt, Fairbolt, um, Minnesota? She's got this big, huge building they've just recently put up she's been doing this for years and years you can find them on social media virtually every social media um facebook instagram youtube uh, and she's always posting videos and looking for um just to, to get money to help these cats out they only take in ferals so there on the property is this house you can rent and then you can hang out with them and the cats and volunteer. And if you want to bring goodies and whatnot, of course, they're going to accept any donations you want to offer. But we're both pretty excited about hanging out with 350 plus cats and uh, showing them some love for a few hours here and there. <laughs> and so then the next day we're heading out. That's going to be, that'll be Tuesday night. Um, so Wednesday, um, the only thing Rusty wanted to see on this whole trip that we had to plan around was the um, world's biggest truck stop in Iowa, off of I-80 in Iowa. And I've seen the videos, man. It looks pretty impressive. So it's going to be um, interesting. I mean, you could probably spend a whole day there. I don't know. Um, 
on the next video, I'll give you the update. But like I said, if you've never been around, never heard of it, whatever, if you're going through Iowa, hey, it's, it's worth stopping. I would bet just from the pictures alone, like I said. Um, so in Iowa, heading down that day, we're going to go to um, Stitchery Nook in Osage, um, Iowa, and then over to Iowa Falls and Crisscross Stitchery. Probably hit those before we hit the truck stop. Who knows? We'll see. This is, of course, if we get no gremlins along the way and <laughs> everything goes right. <laughs> um, then what? Oh, when we head into Illinois, we're cutting across Illinois. We're going to stop at Be Stitch Me. Looking forward to that one. They're in Moline or Moline. I don't really know. I would I would guess Moline, Illinois. Or Moline. If you, everybody pronounce, you know, That's how you know locals from not, right? That's how they pronounce weird names. <clears throat> or seemingly easy names. How I would pronounce them. <laughs> Isn't the way. Like around here, it looks like Buchanan, but it's called Buchanan. We all have them. It's all interesting. Um, and then cutting across into Indiana, we're heading up to, um, he wants to see Notre Dame in South Bend, which is northern Indiana. So we're going to stop, <coughs> pardon me, in Laporte, Indiana. And that's House of Stitches. Probably spend the night there. I think from South Bend to home is only like three hours. <clears throat> so we will, uh, we'll check them all out. Trust me, if I thought I could find a way, because I know from South Bend to Cincinnati is only like three or four hours, I would love to go to Keepsakes, but I think I might be at the um, limit of what I can get poor Rusty to suffer through. So, <laughs> um, and I think I'd probably like to take that trip with another Stitcher person so they can appreciate it and, um, and not have someone waiting in the car, because it is liable to be... An all day thing. I mean, when you go to one of those big stores like that, why wouldn't you want to? It needs to be a day for you. <laughs> not not uh, constantly thinking, oh geez, I need to get moving. So anyways, there's that. That's the um, life update so far. That's what we're doing. Uh, we leave next week. So week after next, whenever, sometime soon. And I'm um, looking forward to it. Should be a good time. So, like I said, <laughs> come back in the next video. It'll probably be the, the following week after that. So, mid to late July in a couple weeks here. And um, <laughs> you'll hear all, hear all the drama. Hopefully no drama. Just an epic amount of haul. That's what I'm hoping for. So, and isn't that truly what we're all hoping for? So, again, if you know of any other stores in that general little loop, if you're from that area, um, let me know. If I can fit it in or I'll have it on the side and if we have free time, I'll be like, hey, babe, we're only 90 minutes from XYZ Cross Stitch Store. Let's roll. So <laughs> we'll see what happens. Um, Stitchy Snacks update. Thank you. Uh, all the people that have shown interest in the freeze dried goodies. I uh, have been doing a lot of uh, online learning and research on because, you know, I thought it would be great to do a subscription box with this. And then you'll say, oh, this is how you do that. And there's, I mean, there's, it's a lot more into it than I even remotely uh, thought. So um, since the interest is there, more than likely what's going to happen here in the next uh, week or so, so I can be live by the time we're back from this road trip, just do an Etsy store. If you're interested in buying something little, whatever, um, then by all means, I can get it out to you. And then while that's just kind of up and going, I'll continue to work on my um, website and maybe in the beginning of next year we can start a subscription box and, and just go from there so I can kind of figure out the e-commerce part of this. Uh, I am totally a techno-tard. Uh, you know, I still can't even do anything with these videos. So, <laughs> yeah, uh, you know, it could be ugly. But anyways, um, we're going to figure it out one way or another. And if not, nothing else, Etsy's... I've done Etsy before for other things. It's fairly user friendly, so um, so stay tuned. If you already, you know, if you follow me on Instagram or I'll give you updates here, I'll, I'll let you know. But again, thanks to all the people that have already reached out, and um, it's it's been a lot of fun. And it, I always like doing something new, you know, squirrel. You know how it is. Everybody has that. So 
there's the update on that. Um, now to the fun. Yay! cross this stuff! <laughs> I'll stop running my mouth about weird stuff. Um, I had one start, just like last video, I had a finish, kinda. This time I have a kinda start. <laughs> it's the same project. Um, and that is the other corner of the By the Sea of uh, Jeanette Douglas. So this is going to be Autumn by the Sea. And again, I have bought all the floss packs. It's always fun trying to separate these floss packs. And it's primarily uh, silks and some krennic. Get that to focus. There we go. And um, a lot of the... I guess from the other, the first corner and whatnot, you'll see a lot of the same colors, of course. She just changes them up a little bit for the seasonal stuff. So all I've got done on this is the border. You can get a better look at the colors. Try to get you in the light. It is really cool. I mean, who doesn't like autumn colors anyways? But And it goes so quick. That border is, took me couple hours in the evening to do that border so gonna be another fun one another fun little quarter of this project by Jeanette Douglas love it um, keep all my goodies together here I did a lot I got through looking at my pile over here I don't know eight or nine different whips this in the past couple weeks I've been a machine <laughs> now granted I'm not doing a lot in each one but um, for my limited focusing skills, that's what works for me. I see a little bit of progress, put it back in the bag. Next. Um, next up is the Edgar Allan Poe tree by the Tommy Modernist. This one, um, like I said, uh, I see what, you know, I, I've heard plenty of other uh, Floss 2 people say it's so hard stitching on black fabric. Um, and this mottled gray is just as delightful, let me tell you. So the old eyes have to kind of um, readjust every time I pick it back up. But I basically uh, have done, this is the, this little stuff right here. That's what I finished up. A little bit of detail work here and there on that little chandelier and whatever, but it's a fun stitch. If you see it, and again, using the massive three color called for DMC, it's a beautiful thing. <laughs> but the fabric itself is um, from Fabric Flare, and that's Stormy Gray. The fabric itself is perfectly fine. I do like it. It's just, um, like I said, it's just the color that makes it a little bit difficult. But once you get honed in on it, it's not so bad. <laughs> but, and the end result is going to be really cute. I really like it. Every, t every time I see one more little motif added, I'm like, man, this is a cute little, <laughs> cute little project. Anyways, uh, next up is the Lacey Cottage Sampler. Again, I say it every time, so I'm sorry. I'm like a broken record. This picture does it zero justice. Um, Rosewood Manor. You see the colors, all the call, the called for goodies. Look at that. They're so pretty. It's the purples that lured me in. Um, I'm using Heirloom, the fabric Heirloom by Needle Bling, 36 count. Not entirely certain which way is up. <laughs> I think it's like this. <clears throat> I basically just added a few more leaves. And goodies. I'm right here in this middle motif, of course, and uh, right there by the purple, purple cottage. So not a not a whole lot of progress. Sometimes the, doing the, all the floral stuff, you know, it gets kind of tedious. But then once you start seeing the colors added to it, it makes it worth it. It's just uninspiring when you start in the middle of the greenery. <laughs> You're like, hmm, I need to see some color. So that'll be soon on that one. Next up is Gathering Honey Plum Street Samplers. I'm using the Berkshire Hive fabric by Fabric Flare. It's 
so you can see the um, I think the honeycomb on that it's really cool been working on this for the most part and these little these little crowns um, I think this is gonna go with me on the road trip because of the type of fabric that it is you can see the holes really well so we all know hotel lighting is abysmal on a good day so I think I might be able to this might be my best bet for any um, evening stitching with mediocre light because I don't really you know I've got my little travel light I'm sure the one I'm gonna take to the retreat I'm sure I'm gonna try it and see how it is but we we will see and again with this one uh oh goes the neighbor's tractor I'm using the um, call for pretty colors see there he goes <laughs> It's a good size hill. Can you tell? He's going slow up that hill. Anyways, uh, good old gathering, honey. I really like this one. The more I stitch on it, the more fun it is. So if anyone else has it in their stash, pull it on out. It's It goes really quickly. It's been fun. Next up. I haven't seen this one in a while. I was looking forward to getting started. Or a better start on this. This is Let Freedom Ring. Uh, Lila Studio and uh, if you recall this is the one that was giving me some fits because I love the fabric that I saw someone use on um, Instagram and it's script by fabric flare you can see the light little um, old-timey script on it maybe you can see it and <laughs> when I bought it the piece was uh, cut just so that it was like so we had had mama hook me up she we added fabric to it because it is right on it's like maybe right here is the edge of that so good thing this thing pretty much has a border around it because I'm not I don't have any room to do anything on this bad boy so this I've added to the flowers I really like seeing the colors coming out with the primary yellow red blue and a little bird that's what I've done very cool it is a, a 40 count so I'm just doing one over two really enjoying the higher counts not that I don't like the others but I really like not having to mess with two strands of floss <laughs> and railroading or trying to keep the eye your, your way it's just one more thing you got to think about and sometimes you just want to mindlessly stitch love the one love the one this is my uh, mess of all the, <laughs> the thread again I'm slowly getting them switched over to the little floss drops and just doing like three strands of the the 18 inch DMC at a time because that just gets to be a pain so as I'm slowly um, going through them I'm getting them over on the floss drops just a little bit at a time and it's gonna make this a lot simpler <laughs> So, um, this is what I mean by that. There's the little floss drops. Just putting a little DMC on in each one. So I only have to deal with this instead of the big giant ring. But that's all the colors. These are just the colors I've used so far. <laughs> so, that's clear as mud. That's Heidi's weird process. If you've watched me more than once, you know I have several of them. It's not a surprise, right? <laughs> so, next up. We have After the Roses by Ink Circles. Again, I fell in love with the colors on this one. And I'm kind of a sucker for anything that looks like a mandala, 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 whatever. I'm um, using 32 count sand. Two over two on this one. And yesterday, or last night, I was working on this. Or yesterday evening, afternoon, before we went to our little shindig. And I finished this corner which was the second page completely done so this one's about 60 percent right now and i am pretty stoked about that because <laughs> yay <laughs> it almost looks like a finished project instead of just something that has this much done on it you know love it though love the colors speaking of which here they are all the called for. Sorry, it looks like a rat's nest. What you gonna do? 
tile's gonna fall over on me. <laughs> All right. <sighs> Next up, you all heard me. <laughs> you know, all these are fun to stitch, and then I run into this one. And I'm working on it. <laughs> I'm, tr I'm trying to find the love. I'm channeling the love. Inspiration by Rosewood Manor. I mean, again, it is gorgeous. Gorgeous. But my God, the color changes. So, don't get me wrong. I'm loving it. But I just do, you know, my weird little project where I just do, okay, my goal is like 1,500 stitches. The more I like the project, I'll take it up to like 3,000 stitches for my goal, blah, 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 whatever, right? This one's 1,000. I'm like, let's just get 1,000 stitches in this thing. <laughs> Every time it rolls around and I will drag my way through it. So this is 32 count Moon Glow. I'm doing two over two. And I did this section. Finish that up. It was partially done. Um, it's hard to see. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, and again, I love it. And again, you, you you do you do good for a while. I'm going to show you the back because you just you have to travel or you're going to lose your mind. Because oh, here's six stitches here and seven stitches there and four stitches here and oh, then you see all the beautiful accent teeny tiny see all the little blues and the purples just one here one there one here one there i love the look i don't love stitching it <laughs> so i will very much love to have it done someday though and it's going to look awesome on my wall here's the colors i've used so far trust me it's not all of them but there we go that's a good part portion of them because again <laughs> you are just constantly changing colors um Yes, I know I could have 15 different needles ready to go, this and that. Meh, then I gotta keep track of all that. And invariably, they'd be in the carpet somewhere. So, lucky you guys, you just get to hear me complain about it every time I work on it. But she's getting there. <laughs> she's pretty. You know, sometimes pretty makes it easier to deal with a lot of stuff, right? <laughs> Next up, Hawk Run. Halloween at Hawk Run. You've all seen it. I'm working on this one right here. I got the middle one done. Working on this one. And uh, here's just the colors for that particular corner or a uh, cube section. Whatever. Last time you saw it, I just had the bottom part done. So I started. Um, Finished the border and went up around, started the trees, got some of the crows in there. Just to get away from full coverage for a little bit and see some progress, so that was nice. I mean, everybody's doing some sort of hawk run because they're all so darn cute. <laughs> they're wonderful. I love this project. Fun to stitch, too. Can't complain. Which I know, surprising. She's not complaining about a project after you hear me bitch and whine about inspiration every time. Aren't you glad inspiration doesn't hit every video? You're like, woman, shut it. Anyways, next up we have Seasons of the Heart. This is a with my needle on thread. I'm, st I'm working on summer. And I just kind of finished a little bit of the goal I had left on this. I had the um, pretty much most of the house done. So I finished up the house and started the roof. And... Um, after this, I mean, that's a lion's share of the stitching, you know, then you just go into all the cute little motifs with the flags and whatnot. And again, I'm not planning on using this. I'm just like, I've seen many other people do. I'm just going to extend the border across. Um, I need to get that gridded out here soon, probably the next time I pick it up. And these are the colors for all of the seasons. All the called fours. Brenda Gervais, you can't go wrong. Everybody loves her stuff. It's just beautiful. I love her colors. And then it was on to my focus piece. So this is the last whip. You're doing good. You're hanging in there. Man, do I love this one. It is so 
the more I do, the more I love it. So, um, highly recommend it to anyone. I've seen a bunch of people do it right now. It's considered the lilies. Uh oh, I hear the dog coming. A heartstring samplery. Doing it on 46 count cappuccino. It's called four colors. Got more of the border done. About three, four more, moti more motifs. Got these all finished since you've seen it last. Love it. It looks so nice. Um, and all the call for. If I haven't already showed those. And there. Yay, that's all the whip. Pardon me. <sighs> Itching nose for some reason. So, um, other than that, on my, my plans going forward, again, the road trip, I'm going to work on gathering honey. Uh, in the car, I think it's going to be easy to work on the Mill Hill kits. I have this one started, kind of, sort of. <laughs> and this one's definitely started, but I don't know how much beating I want to try to do in the car. That's this one, little springtime flowers. So that's my plans for the road trip, or the actual in the car part we'll see what actually <laughs> transpires there um haul not a lot but what did show up was delightful and a long time coming um comes the neighbor in his tractor again stand by from hobby house through the facebook group and whatnot where you could get the um gypsum that's it mary gypsum 1828 whilst iris naps and it comes in this nice little box you can see all that without it totally sliding down pardon the noise it comes with a cute little bling that has the little house that's on the there it goes the house that's on the actual sampler itself. And this is from Minnie McBean's Needlework Fripperies. Good lord, what is he doing? He has so many toys. He plays with everything. <laughs> this time it's the front end loader? I don't know what that was. So, sorry for the noise. Apparently he's going to linger out here. But anyways, it is on the 46 count Thornfield linen. And I went ahead and splurged and got the called for needlepoint, yeah, NPI, needlepoint silk. I don't want to take it out of there till I can get it on drops and on the thing, but I love that they give you the little case so you can keep your silks decent. Hi, Bear Bear. All that noise scare you? I'm sorry, baby. That scared everybody else. Super producer Felix just rolled up in here. <laughs> Everyone that was lounging on the um, porch has since taken care of that. Anyways, the only other haul I have is my sticker for the beach retreat barefoot needleworks store beach retreats in october this year down in um myrtle beach so if you're going let me know looking forward to seeing you there my first retreat finally um and again so that's pretty much everything um oh wait well i did do my planner here i got caught up on my there's my month at a glance all the percentages, all the stitches. And then this was June. It's all the prettiness. Oh, great, he's coming back. Jake, this will be the neighbor that had the party last night, so God bless him. I'll tolerate a little bit of noise today, but I'm going to have to tell him he's interrupting my stuff here. <laughs> it's like he's coming through the back door. Actually, I'm on, on this end of the house, it's only like, I don't know, 30 feet to the property line. And he has a big old fence that goes down. And then on the other side of that is a, a little road they put in to go up to his back property. His dad owns the farm that's all around this and acres and acres worth. So, they're, you know, farmers, they're always working on something. 
they, their, their work never ends. Um, so anyways, uh, that's pretty much it. This is kind of a, a kind of a quick one, basically just a lot of whips. Um, now I get to put all this fun stuff back. Uh, again, I'd love to hear from you if you have any uh, comments or other stories that I somehow missed on my searches through Facebook and Google and whatnot. Uh, let me know. Like I said, I'll, I'll add them to the the possibility <laughs> possibility possible stop list. There we go. Can't speak. Um, and then the next video, like I said, probably going to be right after we get back. I still have a few days off before I go back to work. Um, and, uh, you know, it's going to be like a haul storm warning, people. One to two feet of haul ex expected. So, <laughs> shh, don't, don't tell Rusty. I don't think he realizes exactly what he's in for. But I think I, w I will go through my projects. There's a, a couple, three projects I would really like to get started that I don't have fabric for. So that's kind of what I'm looking for the most is fabric and then um, maybe just some floss to finish those off. And of course, whatever new stuff I find, maybe I'll do be smart and get the fabric and everything for it if I can find any anything in particular. But um, looking forward to it. So I hope you all have a wonderful July until I see you here in a couple, three weeks. And um, stay safe and happy stitching. Talk to you soon. Bye.